Hi everyone, I'm Nitya. Welcome to my channel Manifest Miracle. In this video, we are going to talk about how to do Ho'oponopono for house. Why we need to do Ho'oponopono for house? A human being has a soul. Similarly, our house also has a soul. The varieties of emotions we have in the same manner our house also exhibit those emotions. In our house, we talk about various things which can be good or bad. All these emotions are absorbed by the house and after a saturation period, it will start to emit those emotions. To make this concept simple, just think about any of your friend or a relative. The moment you enter their house, how do you feel? In some houses, you will feel happy. In others, you will feel suffocating or neutral. You could also notice that babies will start to cry for no reason whenever you take them to a certain house. But when you come out, they will be happy. Because babies are very sensitive to the energy around them. If your house has a very negative energy, when you go out, you will feel very happy and once you enter your house, you will feel very tired or sometimes you don't like coming back to your house. How to do Ho'oponopono for the house? There are three methods for doing Ho'oponopono for the house. Write the address of the house on a piece of paper. Keep the paper in hand and chant the Ho'oponopono phrases. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you for 10 to 15 minutes. Keep the paper somewhere safe or keep it near any God's photo. Use the same paper until your goal is achieved. Visualize your house and say that you are doing Ho'oponopono for the house once. Then you can start chanting Ho'oponopono phrases for 5 to 10 minutes. Third, you can touch the wall of your house and chant Ho'oponopono phrases for 5 to 7 minutes. The duration of each method will differ, so follow the timings as mentioned. Now we will see in which cases we can do Ho'oponopono for house. If your family members have a lot of negative thoughts. When your family members are very negative and you find it hard to be in a positive mindset, then do Ho'oponopono for house. When you do Ho'oponopono for a very negative person, more fights and problems will start. When they have been negative for most of their lives, they will rebel against change and try everything in their power to stop the person who is making them change. You will end up drained of energy so the changes should be made little by little. So, it's safe to do Ho'oponopono for the house. In such cases, favorable results can be obtained. When a person has addiction like drinking or smoking. If a person has been an alcoholic or a smoker for many years and you want them to change, Doing Ho'oponopono for the house is the best option. Usually, when anyone has an addiction, it means they need to escape from reality. Without healing the source of the problem, they won't be able to come out of it. In many cases, family members are unaware of the root cause, so this is the best way to handle it. Constant repair work. 
if there is always some kind of repair work to be done in the house it's because the house has absorbed lot of negative energy sometimes if the family members blame the house for their misfortune the house feels very sad and starts to have a lot of issues the maintenance charge will go up in such a situation by doing hoponopono for the house the constant repairs will stop and you can save money lots of problems every house comes with certain energy for example one of my clients when she shifted to a new house got a new job with higher salary than her previous one another client's house is acting as a shield for her by protecting her family from negative energy sent by the relatives these are the positive aspects for some of you when you shifted to a new house you could see that your problems have increased a financial loss or health problem will occur again and again with no remedy in such cases the energy of the house is not good and we have to neutralize it by chanting ho pono pono to release the negative memories that the house has the previous tenants or the owners energies will be stored in the house and whoever comes in will have the same kind of problems as the previous tenants had as you continue with the practice all these will be sorted out one by one to make a house strong and increase its life generally if you do hoponopono for a house the building will become strong dr hulen has said that if the life of a building is 30 years by doing hoponopono we can increase it to 40 or 50 years the house will become very strong even if we try to bring it down it will be very difficult to do that success story i will share my personal experience of doing hoponopono for the house when we moved back to our own house we wanted to paint it the painter we hired was not working properly and he was very lethargic at that time our close relative died and because of all the rituals it was delayed for another 20 days some or the other obstacle came and the work was delayed we wanted to hire a new painter but since it was a festival time all the painters were busy i did hoponopono for the house and prayed to god to send a good painter to finish the remaining work within 2 days we got two painters who finished the entire work in 3 days and the quality of their work was very good as i did hoponopono the energy cleared and i was able to attract the correct person for the job try doing hoponopono for your house and share your experience below try and share your experience below thank you for watching us i'm sorry please forgive me i love you thank you